Das Boot ist jetzt weg. Lee. What? I'm sleeping. Jackie's working out again. Please, Lee, it's so loud. Can you go over there? Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Hey, Jackie! Uh, fellas? It's leg day. Not my favorite thing to do, but you still gotta do it, right? Oh, absolutely. You have to do it, right? <laughs> Dude, imagine having a neighbor like this. Like, what do you even do, man? If you can't fight the guy. It's a weird situation to be in as a man. Because your wife is like, dude, go have a word with that guy. And you're, and you're looking at the guy like, dude, I can't fight this guy. <laughs> what do you do when your neighbor is such a fucking asshole and you can't fight them? And you, you don't want to look like a bitch, man. You don't want to call the cops. What do you do? You know? And maybe you've tried talking to them. You've probably been... I'm sure this guy has... This guy has... Uh, uh, hard words with him before. Maybe not yelling at him, but he's probably walked up to him like, Dude, do you mind, you know? Turning down the music a little. People are sleeping, blah, blah, blah. This guy is probably the kind of guy that says, Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. And then he doesn't do it. Or he turns it down, and then once you've gone... He turns it back up. What do you do? You move maybe. But then you move, you feel like you're surrendering to this ass. It's a weird situation to be in as a guy, man. And do you mind keeping the garage doors closed? Uh, my wife, she gets all weird about getting eight hours of sleep. Me, I can snore through anything. You gotta leave it open, man. It keeps the air fresh in here, you know? <laughs> maybe y'all could take it inside then. Enjoy the air conditioning. Lee, I think I can do what I want in my own garage, can I? Yeah, but you're... You're inconveniencing everyone. It's not just it's not, it's not just confined to your garage. You know, the music is not just confined in your garage, man. You're annoying the whole neighborhood with your fucking stupid music. You know? If it was just in your garage, no one would bother you, man. People like this just need to be put down, you know? Like rabbit dogs. I can't breathe. You just tried to touch my dick. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You tried to jerk me off. Hey, Jinx. How you doing over there? Okay, you've been here too long. You're gone now. Please go. Night, night. No. Yeah, boy. Fuck yeah. That's definitely meth or something. That's not normal behavior, man. That's drug behavior, man. Miss Snodgrass. Okay. You should grab a train and follow me. We're going to skip the line. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hold the line, everyone. It's a faculty member. Back up. Back up. Deshaun, I think she'd like a warm, hot meal. It's all doors. All doors. Keep moving. The school is on fire. Why'd you bring your book bag? You're not leaving school. Go. Get in line, goddammit. In a real fire, or if a terrorist organization had infiltrated us, we need to be able to identify who's missing, who's possibly burnt, and dead inside the school. You know what? I'm very impressed with the organization, but we should still be pushing. Hold up for a second. Demetrius Todd! My mom's calling. I don't care if it's the Queen of England, all right? Mm -hmm. Put the phone down right now. Don't you snarl at me. I will smash that phone. Fix the face. Fix the yeah. face Fix right now. Fix that weird face, man. students would you say you suspended last year? 51 students. These numbers are pretty high. We had a pretty mouthy senior class last year. From now on, zero suspensions, zero detentions, and for damn show, zero expulsions. We're gonna try a method called restorative justice. Bring the offenders together, give them a non-judgmental space called the circle room. The circle jerk. It's gonna be nice for you too. You won't have to walk around here yelling at everybody. Her face is disrespectful. Put your eyebrows down and calm down. <laughs> I've never had someone get told to put their eyebrows down. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Because <laughs> he was being aggressive with the eyebrows, man. You put those fucking eyebrows down, man. <laughs> that's what I are you threatening her? I can just smack the fuck out of her face, and you know what? I almost did it. Are you it. serious right now? I couldn't believe it either. 
Ow, Russell. You did this, you fucking piece of shit. We had her dead to rights on the fucking ropes and you just pussied out. I have a lot of dark shit going on in my life right now, Gambian. I could really use a, and you don't even fucking care. Fuck this partnership. I'm gonna get me a new partner. Someone who's not a fucking little pussy. I burned her whole goddamn house down. No, you didn't. I set that fire and you ran. That's Stop, years. that's enough. Don't touch me. Don't you just sit there and insult me. You know what? You got such problems with me? Well, fuck you. I'm done with you. Oh, it's done. Here we go. It's over. Fuck this. I hope you die, bitch. Yes. You're already dead. You're already fucking dead. No, I'm not. I'll see you in fucking hell someday. Keep walking, sassy pants. Danny McBride is really good at, uh, at uh, childish arguments. You know, writing childish arguments, directing childish arguments, acting childish arguments. You know, he's good at that. He doesn't overdo it to where it's like, uh, he still maintains a, a certain level of seriousness. The insults are hilarious, but the malice is there. You bitch. You dumb <laughs> you bitch. bitch. Russell, do you have your, your walkie on? Come back. Let's just talk about it real quick. Maybe they things got out of hand there for a second. An unusual friendship here. <gasps> When do I just get to relax? Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. All right, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I warned him. This is Lee Russell, and I would like to report a disturbance. <laughs> Who's got the muscles now, you dickhead? The problem is now you give the you, you gave your name. This guy will know who complained, and if they don't take this guy away, he has a grudge with you now. That's the problem with calling calls in this situation. I saw this coming a mile away. You don't want to tussle with Lee Russell because I have the muscle. Put that in your fucking boombox and play it. <laughs> you and your brother are the two dumbest buck tooth cousin fuckers I've ever met. Understand? Good. Circles is done. Why don't you begin the discussion in a polite manner? What, just like do it for fake? Talk to them with some respect. Why don't you ask Aaron what Travis said that made him so upset? He asked me how his dick tastes. Because I used to date Megan, and now he dates Megan. So I was like, how's my dick taste? Are you hurt because they're boyfriends and girlfriends? <sighs> Shit. I don't know. Maybe. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> breakthrough. It's like He's still on this gig, man. By the way, what happened to Blythe's Saison? I thought he would stick around, man. You know, they should have hired him as muscle for the school, you know. We're about to go get haircuts. Haircuts? Yeah. Seychelles knows a barber who's very gifted. Yeah. You didn't wait long, did you? Well, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Do whatever you want. It's fine. I don't care. I'm about to achieve my goals, but you have fun with the fine arts department over here. Never see you again. Never talk to you ever again in my life. Fine. What is going on right now? I look over my eye. You do. <laughs> Perfect. Russell is so effeminate, it's funny. Even the way he gets back at people, it's it's feminine. You know? He doesn't get back at people in a manly way. It's just underhanded pussy tactics. They are effective though. Howdy, neighbor. Oh, Jackie. Hello. Please someone kill this guy, man. He's just a bully. An adult bully. Even the way he bows, makes fun of their accents. Dude is a giant. Instead of just using his giant gigantism for good, he's being a bully, man. Bullying people way smaller than him. Like, this is calm of the earth. Send him to battle and I hope he dies in the front lines or whatever, man. That's where he belongs. Even that's, that's too good for him because there are good people fighting in the army. You know? The perfect storyline for this guy would be like, he goes into the army thinking he's tough, then he pushes out and becomes a deserter. Or a traitor. And it's forever tainted. Forever disgraced, man. He's so scummy. You know? Because people like this exist, man. You can't be an adult acting like this. Fuck. Thought this might be a good chance for us to chat. You told me you haven't been sleeping so well lately. Well, I guess you're just not used to the noises that men make when they're strengthening their bodies now, are you? Speak English! Speak English! None of that bing ba bullshit. I don't want to oh. fucking hear it. Okay, Jackie, I don't really have time to chat right now. Don't call the cops on me again. I hate cops. You should try smiling more. They make your face look a lot better. Just saying. Kill that guy, please. 
we know it's a, it's a comedy we've seen a house burn down i'm sure we are capable of some murder let it be that guy please it's a small town who cares I'm both in a grocery store it's not like he followed you in there he said he saw me in the parking lot and followed me in he's mad that you called the police i don't know what he's gonna do lee you should go over there and apologize i literally just walked in the door christine this is why as a guy you need you need to have a psycho mode in you you know you need to have a psycho mode in you you need that psycho mode that is just you know what man nah but your psycho mode is going to get you in trouble you might go there and do something you regret you might go there try to confront this guy and go too far you know especially when he's threatening your family like this or you might go there and actually get hurt but you should be willing to get hurt you know the problem is how do you not go too far <laughs> you know because when you go and confront that guy it's going to get real it's going to get real man you know you need to be prepared for when it, when it gets real man are you ready to fucking probably die dealing with this fucking asshole are you willing to take him out before he takes you out? Because right now he's, he's, he's in a very impossible situation. Man. This is a nightmare for him. You know? Either goes there and gets his ass kicked, or he goes there knowing he can't handle that guy. He takes a gun and he just does too much and fucks his own life up. You know? Maybe the ideal situation would be to leave, move, but you know that's another financial decision that's that's not always on the books so what do you do the cops are not helping you know or maybe maybe you should get the other neighbors together and just together do something you know so that it's not just you complaining you need everyone together for for someone like that one you know cuz no one is brave enough to to confront that guy by themselves you need everyone in the neighborhood because it's a common problem. It's not just you who is annoying with the music. Unless it's just you guys together near, <laughs> living next to each other in the middle of nowhere. Surely he's annoying other people with the music too. Get together and just make a decision, man. You know? Make a decision, man. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Jackie! Hey, you, uh, you got a sec? What? I didn't mean to piss you off about the whole noise business. It was it was just a suggestion. Christine said that you were being a little aggressive with her at the store today. I know, I'm married to her. You are a real piece of work with your complaints. You know that? I caught your mother-in-law digging through my trash can like a fucking refugee. The smell of that dink cuisine that comes okay. into my yard every other okay. night. Okay, let's leave my wife out of this. This is uncomfortable to watch, man. I feel like I'm in his position right now. I'm like thinking to myself, what would I do in this situation? It's so stressful, man. You know, because this guy is a giant. The only way you can take this guy or someone that much bigger than you is if you use a weapon, man. And you can't be the guy to draw a weapon because then he has a reason to just fucking pound you into the ground. You know? This is a bad, bad situation. It's bad. What skin magazine did you order her from? I said that's enough. Stay off my property, Lee. Go home. This is how you push a man into doing fucked up things. You know. Because this is, this cuts deep. This is your ego, your manhood, everything about you is being brought into question here, man. And you have to do something. Night night termite. You okay? You seem tense. Wound up. No, I'm chill. Oh, you can't be coming up in the school with all this negative energy, Gamby. I would park in the furthest spot in the lot. And on that long walk back, I would ease my mind and adjust my attitude. You want me to park at the end of the parking lot? I want you to adjust your attitude. Stupid haircuts. 
Russell's makes his face look all fat and bloated. The Seychelles, <laughs> a lump on a log. Are you fucking Mr. Russell? Am I what in Mr. Russell? I saw them coming out about having good sex, man. I'm just saying, you make a cute fucking couple. Huh? First of all, I am not G, Deshaun. Second of all, I never go off into the goddamn <laughs> woods. Everyone knows that about me. No wonder you sad, man. You just heartbroken. Stop accusing me of fucking men in the woods. Hang in there, Mr. Gant. You're an idiot, Deshaun. I'd never fuck that man. Honestly, I'm thinking about just getting a fucking gun and shooting him. Yep. I mean, what would you do if your big muscular neighbor was harassing you? Muscles? Too like. Big country muscle, sort of like an old school wrestler build, just. Well, I guess, beefy. You know, he doesn't have a whole lot of definition. Okay, seems like he's got farm strength. Are well, you getting hung up on the wrong detail? You stop being a cunt. Excuse me? Did I say so? C I word. Didn't, I didn't say anything. C word. There is nothing that disgusts me more than a female who cheats. I want each of you to tell me where you think you're gonna be in five years and how cheating on this math test is gonna help you get there. Make something up, okay? Can I get some more popcorn? Are you hungry? Yeah? Great. I'll go get it for you. How about this? Fucking popcorn? You want some popcorn? There's more for you. There's some for you. You think there's popcorn and bean bags in the real world? There's not. The real world is full of meanness and shit. You girls are just gonna grow up to add to it. Are you okay, Mr. Gamby? I'm just feeling depressed, feeling remorse, feelings of hopelessness. I was just working on a project with a business associate of mine. Then he pussied out and bailed on me. Now I'm left to do the project all by myself. He said that I was messing up the business partnership because I was being selfish and I didn't have his back. Well, did you? Well, maybe you should just try to talk to him. Explain how you feel. But you'll never know unless you try. Did you just make that up? I guess. It just kind of came to me. Miss Swift, where's Russell? I haven't seen him. Jackie? Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. I'm on your property now. You disrespect my wife? And I told you before to keep this fucking down, down, down. Keep it. I, I don't want to. I don't want to have to hurt you. This is what you have to be prepared for, man. The ass kicking when you stand up for yourself. I told you to stay off my property. I'm in my rights. Step away from Mr. Russell. Leave him alone right now. Who the fuck are you? His boyfriend? No, his regular friend. What are you gonna talk to me about, motherfucker? My feelings. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, but that guy is definitely not out, man. You better hope that one shot does it. That's a very movie style ending. Because you pull up on that guy, you're also getting fucked up. You're also getting fucked up, man. You know? That wouldn't be enough. This is a weird situation, man. Maybe I haven't been the best business partner. Business partner? It's been a really long time since I've been in a partnership of any nature with anybody. And I've forgotten how to do it. I had all my own shit going on over here and it's just been fucking me all up. I'm sorry. What about Seychelles? Fuck that fucking fruitcake. Department. Fuck the fine arts department. <laughs> <sighs> Lee, what is going on? What do you think's going on? I fucking handled shit. Watch this. <laughs> Ooh. Sleep, motherfucker! Yo, that was a very good episode. Very uncomfortable to watch, though. It's always uncomfortable seeing someone go through something like this, man. What, uh... What Russell was going through here with this fucking asshole, man. You know. Still a very movie ending. Still a very fairy tale type of ending. Um but but still satisfying, man. But this would be a nightmare situation, especially if you can't move because of, you know, financial reasons. You have to get crafty. You have to get crafty, man. You know, especially if the cops are not even helping, dude. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm good that he stood up to him, you know. That's what you do, you know. You, you, you just go there, you make a point, and if there's an, there's an ass kicking to be, to be had, then you have it. But no one wants to get their ass kicked, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Because I was thinking maybe you bring a friend, but this guy is big. He's massive. 
probably handle both of you and he has friends <laughs> you know the only one who has friends this asshole has asshole friends you know having an asshole neighbor is just weird man it's a nightmare a nightmare or someone who thinks they can bully you as an adult and you're like dude I could kill you right now, man. But I would go to jail. I can't fight you. I would have to resort to, to revert to, to resort to underhanded tactics, dirty tactics. Because you're too fucking huge. But then I fuck myself if I do that. It's just a bad situation to be in, man. You know, you need I don't know. The cop option seems like a good idea, but that's not always helpful. Sometimes they they ignore or sometimes they show up and they get bought off by the asshole so what do you do man what do you do but the gang is back together gambi and russell are back together i hope i like them together but i don't like their mission i don't like the idea of bringing down belinda brown you know especially considering the tactics they've been using um yeah there's no belinda can be very condescending sometimes you know her tactics work you know they ended up working but I, I feel like she's not she's not a problem man they need to stop they need to drop that that agenda otherwise they're very good together they make a very good team the friendship is kind of nice to see you know yeah i see you guys in the next one man peace